So it's a summer's day and we're off to Cobham to rescue a sparrowhawk. Apparently it's come down in somebody's garden and it's unable to fly, so we'll get there and it'll fly off and we won't have to do anything. But you never know. Right, kit, stuff. We'll take a net in case and the long flip poles on the left. I'm so organised. Let's go. Cool, yeah, he's on there. Okay, let's go and have a butcher's up. The left wing's dropped a bit. Oh, he's sort of flying. Go on, let's get you in a corner. Go on, you go down there a bit. Go down there a bit more. There we are. This tree's going to be in the way a bit. Behind you, son. I was going back down there. It's quite quick, that's the trouble. I push him down. He's right in the far corner. Oh yeah, got him. Oh, oh, it wasn't long enough. Okay, we'll get him this time. Careful, careful. Come right, come on, Puddles. I think he's only sprained it. I don't think it's broken because he was flying a little bit. Come on. Come on. I can't feel a break, but without an x-ray, we're not going to know. I think he might have just sprained it. It's quite swollen. Right, little tweaks. But when it lays an egg, I'll tell you. <laughs> but we'll take him back, we'll give him an extra see what we can do. No worries. Back at the centre, Maru gave the sparrowhawk a thorough examination to check for any additional injuries. I think we've got the legs restrained, are we? An X-ray would confirm if the sparrowhawk's wing was fractured and would then require surgery to stabilise the bone. Once the bird was under general anaesthetic, Maru prepared to insert an IM pin into the fractured bone. The pin will secure the two fragments of bone in place, enabling them to heal in the correct position. So I'm just in the critical point. Okay. It was such a nasty fracture, honestly. Oh my God. Vale, so we're gonna have an x-ray just to make sure. After three weeks of vital rest and rehabilitation, this lucky sparrowhawk had healed well and was ready to make its way back to the wild. Returning to the care home, both staff and residents were eager to watch the bird fly free once again. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the red button and make sure you hit the bell to get notifications of our latest content. If you want to help us save wildlife, please donate. Every pound you give will help us to save more wildlife.